God hates homosexuals. God hates fags. And you know what? God hates you. My name is Dimitri Betts, and you're watching a very, very important and a very special Don't Give Up. It's called God Hates Gays. It may be in two parts on YouTube, or you can watch the whole thing here. And I, I advise you that you just take the time, take the 15 minutes or 14 minutes, however long it is, and really watch this because I believe that it can change your thoughts, your mind, give you encouragement, and maybe we can change, do a little change in America in the world. Now, I get lots and lots of emails. Now, the majority of emails I get is from um, uh, teenage girls between 13 and 14 and some, some of the older uh, guys. And I get all the time, hey, I'm bisexual. Hey, I'm gay. What do I do? Uh, who do I tell? Um, I'm depressed. If I say that I'm gay, if I say that I'm bisexual, I stop being depressed. All these things. I want to tell you something. Listen, if you think that you're gay or something and you say to the world, I am gay, huh? It's not going to take away your depression. It's not going to take away pain. It's not going to take away the abuse that you've had in your heart. And I don't, and this is, this is my personal belief, I don't think that you should be proud about who you choose to have sex with. I mean, when I, when I, go die on my tombstone. I don't want on my tombstone. Dimitri was a great man. He had sex with men. He also had sex with women. He masturbated. You know, I don't see how my sexual content or, or, or the person I choose to love has anything to do with who I am. Who am I? I'm a person who loves to help people. I'm a person who loves to sing. I'm a person who likes to see change in the world, who likes to see love, to see people do better things. And, and as you may know, you know, I've had sex with many boys in my life. I've had sex with many girls in my life. But that's not who I am. It's not who I am. I'm not, I'm not going to walk around with some t-shirt to say, I've had sex with all these guys, or I've had sex with girls, so this is who Dimitri is, because that's not who Dimitri is. So by saying who you prefer, or what you choose in your sexuality, and making it, making it this huge mountain of a thing, um, is not going to cure who you are. I know that you need to accept and to see who you are and to find, um, find you. And I and I remember um, when I was a teenager, and I and I and I was thinking, oh my God, am I gay? Am I gay? And and saying saying it out loud was just like weird, you know. And and then being confused with girls and things, but it it, it didn't take away my my drug abuse. I remember I I even was um, a, a drag queen for some time. I, I was I was a pretty famous, really well known drag queen. Uh, my name was Coco Brown. Uh, here's a picture of Coco Brown. Okay, and you see Coco Brown. Like she, she was beautiful. Uh, she was my image of perfection, and I, and and I was a flamey cross dresser, and I was beautiful, and everyone told me how beautiful I was. But let me tell you, but I was still depressed. I was still on drugs. I was still using people. I was still alone. I still felt like an orphan. So me coming out and saying I'm this fabulous drag queen did nothing for my heart. So I'm not saying that it's not curing for you to try to admit something about yourself. Of course, it's good to admit something or to let something out about yourself. But what's more important is to dig deeper. Because when you see yourself as a sexual entity, as this is who you are, then the world's going to see it, and they're not going to see you as a person. They're not going to see you, they're just going to see you as a gay person, or they're just going to see you as, as a straight person, or, or whatever. You want them to see you as you. I'm going to show a little clip from the Ellen DeGeneres show about this, uh, this eighth grade boy who was murdered by another eighth grade boy um, because he simply asked him to be his valentine. I want you to watch this, okay? 
And we have a great, great show for you, and we're going to have a whole lot of fun. Uh, but for a minute, I need to talk to you about something that's really serious and really sad. And uh, if you know me, it's hard to talk about sad stuff without getting emotional, but this is really important to talk about. On February 12th, an openly gay 15-year-old boy named Larry, who was an 8th grader in Oxnard, California, was murdered by a fellow 8th grader named Brandon. Larry was killed because he was gay. Days before he was murdered, Larry asked his killer to be his valentine. I don't want to be political. This is not political. I'm not a political person, but this is personal to me. A boy has been killed, and a number of lives have been ruined. And somewhere along the line, the killer, Brandon, got the message that it's so threatening and so awful and so horrific that Larry would want to be his valentine, that killing Larry seemed to be the right thing to do. And when the message out there is so horrible that to be gay, you can get killed for it, we need to change the message. Larry was not a second-class citizen. I am not a second-class citizen. It is okay if you're gay. I don't care what people say, I don't care what people think, and I know there are entire groups of people who face discrimination every single day, and we're a long way from treating each other equally. All of it is unacceptable, all of it. But I would like you to start paying attention to how often being gay is a punchline of a monologue or how often gay jokes are in a movie. And that kind of message, laughing at someone because they're gay, is just the beginning. It starts with laughing at someone, then it's verbal abuse, then it's physical abuse, and then it's this kid, Brandon, killing a kid like Larry. We must change our country, and we can do it. We can do it with our behavior. We can do it with our messages that we send our children. We can do it with our vote. This is an election year, and there's a lot of talk about change. I think one thing we should change is hate. Check on who you're voting for, and does that person really, truly believe that we are all equal under the law? And if you're not sure, change your vote. We deserve better. My heart goes out to everybody involved in this horrible, horrible incident. The whole, all the families and this poor... Even, you know, Brandon's life has changed because he did this. So we're going to put more information on this uh, on our website, and uh, we're going to have a wonderful, fabulous, funny show after this. We'll be right back.